Hello everyone and welcome back. There's something wrong with our meter here. He was praying, unfortunately it happened um, off camera. But yeah, it was praying at a queen. Uh, you is it? I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful too. All right, so I'm going to upgrade quite a few weapons, uh, starting with the misericord. I'm very tempted to go level eight, but let's see. Because I'm gonna use the carrion sword probably. We can go all the way to level four. Plus four. The grave site, uh, I don't have the requirements yet. Um, it's gonna be for later game. Uh, for, uh, uh, yet again, I'm okay by upgrading. Uh, Yeah, we go Misericord first, and what I have left, uh, look at this bad boy, <laughs> it's a plus 11, I, I will use it uh, for the longsword. Alright, sweet. Very cool, very nice. Now let's uh, compare very quickly the damage. So we have uh, 280 plus 50, -ish, uh, so 330, more or less. Actually, I should just look at the AR, right? Ah, much easier. Yeah, the carrion sword is much stronger right now, so I'm going to use that. But I, I'll keep the long sword on the offhand as um, it has a very good uh, weapon art. Soon we'll... T today we're actually going to get another very good sword. A straight sword, magical straight sword, so... Alright, so this is done. Back over, I'm at, Want to just sell some uh, doubles. One double. Two doubles. That these I want to keep them. All right, and that's done. Now let's go talk to Nefeli. I'll see you again, warrior. I'll see you soon. Okay, we talked to Nefeli. We are gonna go straight... Um, I'm not sure which one is the fastest one. Um, this for sure not. We're gonna go here. Actually, well, whatever. I completely forgot, I have to go uh, up there. So let's go there first. Yes. And you want to go uh, all the way at the top of this um, hill. There are these uh, spirit uh, singing giants, whatever. So when there are jellyfish, I say that many times, always check around. I hate this one. I didn't check the map before um, 
I, I didn't really prepare everything for this episode. I have, uh, but I know where I want to go. But I often uh, also check the inter interactive map to just make sure if I pass by something important to not miss it. In this case, I didn't do it. So let's hope. So here is the four bell freeze. Um, basically, they have a special teleport so you can activate with embooted swords. Stone swords. And uh, they will give you one when you start. Alright. Then the other two, one is in the academy and the other one is in Kaeli. Now, I wish me luck. I'm quite sure this is the one that we want to use for Kaeli's uh, quest. Recipes of anticipation. Give me a second. No, wait, wait. No, no, it is this one. Wish me luck. Otherwise, screw Nefeli's quest. <laughs> it's gonna be from later. Let's go. I use this sword anyway, so. Oof. Ah, Chapel of Anticipation, perfect. So this is the initial area where we kicked off. And if you walk over there, you actually die. Anyway. Because in case you defeat this boss, this is the only other way you can proceed with the game. So this is the bugger that uh, you know uh, kills you at the beginning. So let's take our revenge. Or die trying. You know how much I hate spiders, right? So I have no shame in using magic against this guy. What are you doing? Telling you the fire bombs are huge. The damage, the damage. I'm so scared. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Please. All right. Easy mode unlocked. I was about to say, but as I was about to say it, I was gonna. Um, I almost died. Anyhow, we did it, and uh, the weapons are quite good. Uh, Oli weapons, fate weapons. I I'm a mage, so I don't use them. But what do you want to do next? Uh, uh, there is a, a ladder. I think. Even just a door. Yeah, there. There we go. Stone oak. That's for uh, Nefeli. And here we get our own oak. I really like this uh, spirit ash. Sorry, spirit summon. Because... Um, it increases your attack power. So honestly, I would love that he wouldn't move at all, um, but it's one that I can even recommend. Okay, so now we're going to go forward. I'm going to ignore, I will leave a marker here for now. And also here there is another quest we want to do later. Apparently today actually, if I have time. I'm going to ignore these ruins for the moment. Um, as I really want to focus on quests uh, this episode so that they are done and also they are all in one episode we want to find uh, 
like um, a small structure. I think I went too far already. I hate I can't open the map when I'm in combat. It's uh, so annoying. I really don't find the. Uh, I I don't mind it. It doesn't have to pause the game or anything. Just let me open the map. Oh, maybe it's there. I don't think it's there actually. It's too far. Yeah, this is another one. Well, I'm gonna quickly grab the loot here. Um. I didn't have the spell I wanted. Okay, I can use this. Nice. Okay, I got what I wanted. It's a similar structure, by the way. It's, it's, it's exactly the same. But there is yet inside. Um, it might be this one, actually. Uh, not yet, sorry. Ria. Ria. Yeah, I think uh, I see her. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Ria. She's from the Volcano Manor. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? What a weird Perhaps. looking that lady. made off with a precious necklace, only if you've All right, I quickly just skip oh, uh, this dialogue. It's uh, rather stupid. She just asked you to get uh, a necklace back from a, a rude guy that stole it from her. Um, the rude guy will be somewhere around here, but uh, here is our friend Cheese. I'm doing several quests at the same time. I hope it's not uh, too annoying for you guys. Oh well, it, it's been a long while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. Or not? I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I have. Ah, uh, well, anyway, he left the cave. He's his only supplier. Blah blah. blah. Uh, purchase. I I like these, but now I can. No, actually, I'm gonna buy them. I know I like it. Since uh, I, we are here and uh, I met him, I will buy the Perrin dagger. I think he's the only uh, vendor around that he has it. Maybe I'm wrong. Just gonna buy it, and that's it. I'm gonna buy anything else. Let's You're talk a little bit. No? Oh shit! King. Very dangerous because it can attack patches. So while we are on the topic, uh, if you attack patches, I think uh, um, at one point during the fight it tells you you can if you if you um, bow or knee or something like this, he will actually my god the damage 5k. Um, he will stop attacking you, uh, and it's a way to get a, de a gesture. On your list. No, no, you're making your way to. Well, the I heard something oh, yeah. that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an iron virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels, but long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this. A surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd tree. Or so I'm told. Alright, so keep that in mind. When we are in Rhea um, Lucaria Academy, I will let you do... Uh, I will let you know what an iron virgin is and what he was referring to by the way uh, have you 
met that girl, Raya. She's a strange one. Not that it's any of my business. If she rings your bell. Alright, so he wants to talk uh, with uh, Ria. Alright. He's interested in uh, Volcano Manor. Alright, let's move on and uh, wrap up uh, um, at least um, what we can of the Ria's quest. Uh, we need to find Prone Guy. He's over there. Really like the guy. I don't know. I I like prawns. I, he likes prawns, so I guess there is something there. Um, do not kill the guy. You can uh, buy the necklace uh, from uh, for Ria for a few thousands. Um, what are you looking at? Rooms. Just start some of me. Ah, that necklace. Mm, show me, and I'll consider buying one. I'm not in love with it or nothing. All right, so uh, I'm skipping through. There is nothing much. It's not, it's not saying much. You can decide whether to buy it or to fight him. All right. Mm, all right. Things no damn use. Your bloody idea. All right. I don't know if you can now buy the prawns. All right then. I could be persuaded. All right. So you can buy prawns, and I'd recommend you to buy some. Maybe, maybe I'm. Then is a bit overkill at the moment because I could use it. I could use the prawns for other stuff. Uh, sorry, the the runes for other stuff. But prawns uh, reduce the the damage you take. It's a temporal buff. You cannot craft it. And uh, in my first playthrough, it helped a lot in some in some fights. Ah, by the way, there is a night boss here. Uh, there, that bird. I'm not gonna deal with it right now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention that. I hope he's not gonna follow me, actually. Area, I got your necklace. The thug should be ready. Oh yes, thank you kindly. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service Raya. of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Alright, so is, this is... Tarnished, most tarnished, or doomed. Blah, 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 the Are length between her three, blah, 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 okay. Please stop, brave tarnished. You will only tire by striking this barrier. What? I see. Oh, and... One more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus. Beyond the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff at the base of the valley near the Grand Lift. There's an old tunnel it was excavated from both ends. I have faith in you. I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the old at the base. Right. Was excavated. So, um, first of all, she is recruiting um, uh, Danish people that like to kill other Danish people. That's what basically she, she basically said. It's funny because I didn't show any merciless thing. I was just kind to both parties. But anyway, she's talking about this tunnel over here. It's uh, a, let's say a sort of secret passage. Here there is the elevator. But you can go here and in the end there is a, a weird missing to defeat and you can get to the uh, Altus, Altus Pla... That thing. <laughs> to the end, uh, near end game area. Uh, very early on but just doing that. There are many ways to do it anyways. Uh, that's not the only way. Um, it's also a very good spot because um, of, uh, this is a smithing uh, air, miners area. So anyway, at least you know. All right, so um, next stop. Yeah, let's uh, also put a marker here. And uh, where am I? I'm there. Actually, next stop should be here. But um, no, actually, so. <laughs> The next quest we are gonna do is uh, Barres.
Vales quest, uh, we are not really going to do it, we just talk to him so that we can progress it. Then there is a bit of forced PvP to do, which I guess I, I will uh, I will do it offline. Um, a, I'm very bad at PvP, sec B, it is, this character is definitely not uh, a PvP character, I have uh, way too little uh, vigor. Although, yeah, actually, um, no, no, let's go there and then I, I go finish the uh, Ferris quest. As I'm going that direction, I grab this and risk um, my life with all these lobsters. By the way, if you want that uh, hammer, it's a curved um, big club, uh, I think it's called. You have to grind it here. Here or anyway around here. Okay, here is Barre. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great rune and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What? was your impression? Aha! Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers Harbor no love. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you. All right, let me check the time here. Um, Alright, let me do this offline. I will just show you very quickly um, what that means. You use, he gives you three of these uh, bloody fingers. We already grabbed a few more from our adventures. You have to use three of them and then talk back to him to proceed with his questline. So I'm gonna do that offline. Uh, this episode may last a little bit longer, but so that we really wrap up quite a few quest lines and I can focus on exploration. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Oh, Lampkin, so <coughs> pleased you're here. I, mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Hmm, yes. Do you want Varra? Have it any other way. Or Varra? Now, take this. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. All right, so there are two maidens you can uh, take the blood from. One is, uh, I don't remember, here maybe, or somewhere around here. The other one is where uh, we went uh, in the Chapel of Anticipation, where we went for the Oak. So I don't have a 
teleport there. I'll have to take the teleport again. So I will, um, for the sake of time, uh, I will uh, see you there. So yet again we take this uh, teleport, the same teleport I took for Nefeli's uh, oak. Alright, going to use the horse. By the way, if you die during invasions, you have to go get your um, runes back. I didn't have many, but uh, yeah, I lost a few runes uh, because uh, I didn't bother going. Uh, they were like near the entrance of the academy and I didn't bother going there. So the maiden is in the chapel. Here. And now we have it, we go back to Varna. And I'll see you there. Here we are again. Ah, my lambkin. You've come with this. You are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Offer the finger. He's gonna rip off one of our nails. Good heavens, clench your teeth or something. No! Poor Dora. There we go. Oh, another thing. You should have this. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside we must endure a little longer. All right, so I'm quite sure that uh, you can use this item now to teleport to Mog's um, biome. It's a very end game, uh, very high level. You can do that uh, for several reasons. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I will wait uh, end game to get there. But at least this is done. Now, let's kill this guy. Or die trying. Probably die trying. I'm gonna take my revenge and then we go for Nefeli's quest uh, and probably wrap up the episode with the Yetas quest now there is also this bug or beetle scarab whatever that's called okay it's that one I don't care I don't remember if this guy actually drops anything special that's why I want to I want to kill it Least you okay, me now. Yeah, you cheat. I cheat better. No, all right. Okay, Nefeli. Let's move on. Nefeli is located where I put the marker. I now. 
I'm not sure I will actually manage to get to the ending uh, post uh, patch. Uh, when I tried in my preparatory run, it didn't work. I don't know if you need to be a bit more advanced in the in the overall progress of the game. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's uh, what's the deal there, but we'll try. All right, we got the lost grace, uh, and then we have to go over here. Now there is going to be lots of poison. Some crabs. Uh, these guys, I'm 99% sure they don't drop anything. Yeah, there it is. Here we are. Ranking uh, a crab. We have an Ash of War or whatever this beetle has. Ash of War. There are a few shinies are down here as well. Try to grab them um, before going upstairs. There it is. It's one or two, nothing uh, in particularly important, but no shiny left behind. Well, I'm quite confident those are uh, all the shinies uh, here. Oh wow, my health is so low. Alright, so Nefeli is here. Having a picnic. Watching his air people dying. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. But this time... Alright. Well, she's depressed. Fine. She wants to kind of uh, revenge her people or... Uh, actually, it's not even uh, her people. She just wants justice in these lands. What's uh, curious is that, I mean, she's from Lingrave. I don't understand what... Why she's in Lyurnia, but... Hey, why am I not charging the attack there? Yeah, the Carrion Sword uh, is nice uh, damage. Output Larva tier, you can use this to actually respect after the Raya's Academy. Alright, so we do have a Lost Grace here, let's uh, grab it and continue. And we're also gonna get another Magic Straight Sword over here. Yo, there's some light in this place? I don't know. A few of these buggers around. There's sunlight. Wow, I've never seen sun in this place. And here is the crystal sword. Quite nice. Nice uh, ash, uh, skill or um, ash of war, whatever you want to call it. I think that's all for that area. I'm not gonna actually turn the camera, but I'm quite confident that's all. Now, there is a guy here. I know him pretty well because I used it uh, um, in my first run for um, 
testing damage with my weapons. Don't know why I picked this guy. But watch out, it can be very nasty. Very nasty. He uses uh, perfumes. And uh, here there is a very important um, sort of NPC. Actually, it's an NPC. This pot, you roll. Please, no. Dear me. <laughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Very sus. Wait then. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric. As you can see, we're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You of must course. keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. Sure. Very important. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorix. <laughs> Alright, goodbye bro. Thank you for the medallion. Let's grab the Avery Sickle. It's a dagger, it's a magic dagger. Meh. No, I don't know. I don't know if it's... Um, I didn't find it particularly useful, so... So, now we are going to go forward and there is going to be a mini-boss. Very nasty, not gonna lie. So let's hope I'm gonna do it the first try. try. Okay, no, that was. Uh, it's gone. But it's fine. It's a bug. Uh, it's a health uh, flask, a bit all uh, and, and full. Now, there are a few dogs. Take them first. Uh, no, I don't think I'm in range here. Let's see, I'm gonna go down here. Try to lure the dogs. We grab the rune arc. That's the mini boss. He's or he's a very aggressive boss or um, mob because we are gonna encounter him that that kind of mob quite often. So yeah, wish me luck. That's the only thing I can say. I will. Uh, there is still one more dog, but hold on. I know there is another dog. Trying to tag, tag it, but... Oh, oh, sorry. I have no shame in using spells against this guy. He eats like a truck. Holy moly. No, I'm dead. Alright, I'll be right back. Take two.
full cheese mode. Okay. <laughs> That's why I don't want to play like this anyway. But it's done. Alright, so that's done. Let's go um, check on um, the ferry. I'm extremely out of time for this uh, episode, but I will keep it long. Put this time. And though the soft justice to thee, let the scars I carve remind them. Alright, let's go to the round table. Uh, or perhaps... Uh, yeah, let's go to the round table. I was thinking whether to do the Yetas quest first, uh, but uh, we can wrap up with them. Oh! Well, another quest, right? This is Asia. Holy moly, what's that? I'm quite bad, man. I'm trying to understand where the berries are. I didn't have my, my fancy dagger, but it's fine. Bye bye, Esha. So, this was the guy standing next to Hideon uh, room or Gideon room. For some reasons, at one point, he hates us. Uh, Start us. It has uh, the clinging bone. Uh, I actually don't remember this weapon. It's a fist weapon. Arcane. Okay. We don't care about it, right? Wrong way. Now. Bailey should be down here. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, oh, you. Please, it's pathetic, I... Alright, so we do have to go talk to her father. Or supposed to father. Ah yeah, Esha gave uh, our uh, his armor. I mean, we find his armor. It uh, replenishes uh, um, health over time, so uh, keep it in mind. You. And if you like the the fashion, is the fashion is a good is a good uh, armor. Sorry. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly. What's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Alright, whatever. Honestly, I don't really understand whether he feels pity for her or he just think that She's useless now, I don't know. Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, Anna. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I... Can no longer trust him father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? 
He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Who knows? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. He's Sauron. No. He's evil. I've lost it. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm... I don't feel the presence of spirits. Let alone see them. Still. This ash. It reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. All right. Ash, it reminds me so now we are at, at that point that I'm not sure whether I have to wait for longer. Like, uh, to wait a little bit more and understand whether... There is uh, any any other step to, to take, but she should no longer be here. That's the thing. In this ash, it reminds yep. me of my first. So let me play around a little bit with teleports. Uh, I'll be back in a second. All right. So yeah, I tried to teleport to Fort Height, um, and then I teleport uh, here. Talk to Gustok. Talk to uh, I, I did everything. <laughs> Um, it still doesn't really work. I will try to, um, to talk to the Feli. But basically, what you want to do is to complete the Kenneth Hyde quest, uh, then uh, also keep Gostok alive uh, and uh, do everything that I did so far with, with Nefeli. And, uh, of my and uh, eventually, uh, Kenneth Hyde will decide that Nefeli is the, actually the. Um, Worthy ruler of, um, or yeah, new ruler of uh, Limgrave, right? Um, it's not happening, yeah, it keeps not happening, and I guess uh, that's because I just have to wait a bit longer in during the playthrough, uh, or quests are still a little bit bugged, either way. Before moving on, uh, actually before ending the episode, uh, let's uh, go for uh, Yeta's quest. And then we are done with all the quests around for, uh, a little bit. Rani's starts. Rani's quest will be in a while. Bokke is still there by the way. Now, I know Yeta is somewhere around here, I don't remember where. Uh, um, give me a second. There she is. She was right there. Hello. Anyway. Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty. Is a finger maiden. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. All right, cool. So this is the first location. The next location is here. Hmm. Let's go over there. I'm gonna see you there actually. And there she is. Um, in case you're curious, this is the location. Hello. There's someone there. Would you donate It's exactly the same dialogue, by the way. She doesn't recognize her as. You give me grapes. They rest their trim, howling, wordless, their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you. Seem Actually, it's not. <laughs> somehow firmer. 
Yeah, basically she said most kind. May the blessing Yeah. She said that the other people weren't giving them the graves like as easy as we do. And there is a reason why. The last two location you are going to find them after you know um, later on in the game is here. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage, and when I eat one of those Oh many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabiri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet. Yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. <laughs> they are human eyes. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were. <laughs> yep. <laughs> are you okay, bro? See? S sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. I have red eyes, by the way. What? Since when? Yo. <laughs> I'm gonna check this out. I think it's because of the pact with Mog, uh, whatever. Are you okay? I apologize. <laughs> you only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Alright, cool. You'll be fine. Alright, guys. And with this, we wrap up uh, a crap ton of quests. It was uh, quite of an adventure. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.